YouTubers, how's that saying go? Build the pins and they will come. Let's take a look. Okay, that's my little dough. And the buck is down here. Mark and his wife, Mark Gibbony and his wife Susan brought these up to me. This in here is pretty friendly. The buck, he's getting a little rambunctious down here. I had those water bottles in there frozen last night when I put them in there about 3 o'clock. Starting to get pretty warm. I put some pieces of uh, ceramic tile so they can sit on those. Uh, it'll keep them a little cooler and get them off the wire. Out of the, the piece that I cut out of the door, I made those hay racks from the side of the pins. And then Mary, Mary, I'm not sure how you pronounce your last name. I've never heard it said. Mary Bogner, I think that's right. Found some standard Rex rabbits for us. And I went and picked them up. Yeah, John, I made the doors so they open in, but they go clear up tight against the top. This little uh, black one is a black otter and the other one is a broken otter right here both broken black otter that's the white one is Mary's buck I've got to take down to her when I go down there probably in September or October might as well get these out of there better look at him. I showed you a picture of him of this side of him. There's the other side. I hope you can see him. I don't know. Can't see him back there. There's the other side of him. See they're pretty tame. down you can see the does. Here's the does. Let me get in the way and see if I can find your doe. Number 19. This is your little doe here. Let me turn this around so I can see if I'm in the, see, the camera. Okay, take it easy there, little girl. They pretty much all look the same, I think. But I've noticed that this one here always sets right with the broken dough that I have. This little broken dough is mine. And they are both sisters. So they're always sitting together in the pen. Broken black otter. But I'll tell you what, I don't know if you can see it, but there's kind of that blue tint to her. And she's got a lot of, of uh, different colors of Rex rabbits. some more hay in these two. <clears throat> Let me 
show you the hay. See if I can do this without locking. What I do is I just take the hay, shove it down in there. Just a quick look at my rabbitry here. I've got the watering system. There's the bucket up there. And I've got one on each on the top of each one of these sections. I didn't want to have great big five gallon buckets. So these are probably two gallon buckets with the out on them with a flanged uh, barb fitting or whatever. I, may, I cut this hose long enough that I can set it on the floor to fill them and then I hang it up there like this so the hose doesn't hang down and then kink right here. It's got a nice open flow to all the pins. I just stapled it on the side here and just ran the tube over so there's no tube close to the pin where the bunnies can get hold of it and chew on it. Let me ask you this question. <clears throat> I bought these feeders. They are pet lodge, chew rust resistant, they've got a nice galvanized coating. But if you notice, this right here is more than two inches. They won't, you can't just cut out one row of the, that wire and slip it in there, it won't fit. So I had to cut out two of these, so there's four inches gap in here. Then, the, then when you hang it in there, it just wants to flop like this, even though you've got these things fastened. I ended up having to take a heavy piece of wire and bend it in here and wrap it around. And I wrapped it around this uh, wire on the cage. Let me get you up close so you can see it. It comes around here and it's wrapped around this wire and comes back around on this side and it's sticking out on, on the outside of the cage so the bunnies don't get gouged or scratched by it. And it made it nice and solid. But you shouldn't have to do that. I don't understand what's what the deal is unless they're expecting you to have the wire turned the other way so you can cut out, you know, three inches rather than four. I don't know. But it didn't I wasn't happy with the way they fit. They're a nice cage. They've got a, a lid on the top and a place to hang a, a card with information which I've got to get the cards the right height to fit in there or make some uh, keep track of breeding and all that business and age but that's the where I'm at with my rabbits right now I've got to take a buck and a doe down to Mary I'll be waiting till probably November December before I can start breeding but they're already enjoying their hay. It's fun getting back into it. It's just I don't like the idea of having to wait for six months before I can start breeding them. And then it'll be another two or three months before I can start eating them. Thanks for watching.